degree from Emory University and a master's and doctorate in modern European history from Tulane University. And before his election to Congress, he taught history and environmental studies at West Georgia College for eight years. Calista Gingrich is the president of Gingrich Productions, a multimedia production company based in Washington, D.C. And prior to leaving Gingrich Productions, she served 18 years on staff in Congress in the United States House of Representatives. She graduated cum laude and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in music with a concentration in public communication from Luther College in Decorah, Iowa. Speaker of Mrs. Gingrich hosts and produced award-winning documentary films, including A City Upon a Hill, which we will view today. Please join me in welcoming Speaker and Mrs. Duke Gingrich. We'd also like to thank our producer, David Bossy, our director, Kevin Knobloch, and the entire team at Citizens United Productions with whom we made this film. A City Upon a Hill explores the concept of American exceptionalism from its origin to present day. Puritan John Winthrop first captured the idea of an exceptional nation in 1630 when he encouraged settlers headed to the New World to create a community, or as he called it, a city upon a hill, to serve as a model for the rest of the world. <coughs> Our founding fathers had this same idea in mind when they created America's founding documents, defined by the ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. At no other time in history had a nation declared that its citizens were endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, rights that no king or government could take away. This truth, that our rights come from God, has provided Americans with boundless freedom and opportunity. Yet today, many misunderstand why America is an exceptional nation, often claiming that we're no different from other countries. But American exceptionalism is not a matter of arrogance. It's a recognition that we are a unique nation based on individual liberty, dignity, and personal responsibility. If we forget this, we will be in danger of surrendering our rights as individuals, the antithesis of what our founding fathers envisioned for America. As citizens, we must have the courage to ensure that America remains an exceptional nation, a challenge that is the essence of the American creed. We hope you will enjoy A City Upon a Hill and share its message. Thank you and God bless. Let me uh, join us in thanking all of you, first of all, for being here and for allowing us to share this with you. I hope as you watch the film, check. My check! My check! We love you, Newt! We, we love you, Newt! Thank you for standing up for corporations! Thank you for standing up for corporations! Thank you for understanding! Thank you for understanding! That simple point! We are 